What is going on everybody? It is Arwing Master here and welcome back for more of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode we fought the Shadow Sirens and look what I managed to do. I managed to level up and fight those enemies off screen. Haha. -ha. And I did heart points this time so I will definitely do flower points next level up. I, I'm definitely need of that. For now I'm gonna give Flurry her necklace. Oh you delightful fellow! You found my necklace! I'm beside myself truly. But you still mustn't see me. Please, leave the necklace by the door and wait a moment. I wonder what happens next, folks. Oh, splendid, splendid. My oh-so-ravishing necklace. I'm awash in joy. What is a happening? <laughs> Coops. I don't know, Mario. Oh, wow, would you look at that. <laughs> she comes out of her room in style. Oh, oh my word, Mario, isn't it? Are you my heroic ne little necklace hunter? Well, my my my, aren't you a fine sp specimen of a man? Yes, indeed. Me? Are you talking to? Are you a talking about to me? I simply must thank you for your graciousness. Oh, but how to do it? Hmm. Perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar. No, 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 no! Don't to do it. <laughs> Here I come, handsome. Time to give you a proper thank you. Pucker up. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mario, you are just the cutest little thing I've ever laid eyes on. No, I'm a not. <laughs> yes, you are, and that's that. So tell me, are you truly looking for the crystal stars? The very same crystal stars spoken of by all the low lifes in Rogueport? Hmm, a danger filled search for beautiful jewels. How absolutely marvelous. And here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a change. And besides, I do declare, that plush mustache of yours has completely swooned me. A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble, and I want to keep you safe. So I dare say I'll be joining you on this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario. Mario and Flurry, the romantic comedy, <laughs> coming soon to a theater near you. Okay, so you press X to... Uh, you hold down X to make Flurry. Um... Um, exhale and um, paper should uh, paper should blow away. This is wonderful. It's so nice that Flurry likes you, Mario. Really, it's great. No kidding. And even more importantly, Flurry's chosen to join us. Let's go to the great tree. Awesome. We're off. Probably, yeah. I'll probably go back and save. Why not? Because I hiked all the way here. <laughs> Alright. Honestly, the warp pipes look kind of weird in Chapter 2 in the Boggly Woods. Because they don't normally look like that in the Mario series. <laughs> weird looking pipes. Seriously. Okay, so... Hopefully I can avo avoid enemies. That's no! Stay away from me. Stay away from me. He's like a... He's like a bug trying to bug me. <laughs> oh, I got an email. What was it? Premier issue. Ah. Oh. Just these things Mario gets in his email. I see. Hey. Right. That, was, that was fast. I made it to the great tree before... We knew it, haha. -ha. Awesome. Okay, so we walk all the way up here and pre hold down X. I should blow away and secret entrance. That's the secret entrance! We can finally get inside. Here I go! Aren't punies just the most precious little things? Mario, I feel I must ask, did you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? I was a, I was a diva of this stage. I was known as Madame Flurry the world over. But the filthy air outside the spotlight respelled me, so I came to the woods. And soon enough, I glimpsed the beauty of these punies and their pure little hearts. It reminded me of my own innocence as an actress, and that made me realize. I shall ever love the stage. I must feel the spotlight shine on me again. I must. 
As you can see, these dear little cunies help me find my true self. That's why I must help them however I can before I go on my own adventures. Mario, can you hear me? Dum -da -dum. <laughs> Check it out! I was able to open it from the inside. Come on, over here. The time has come for me to repay my debt to the punies. Come along, Mario. I would imagine the punies flurry the landlord like, You owe us a thousand dollars on your... Uh, uh, car on your car payments. What? You've got to be joking me. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so. Uh, hmm. Weird. Normally everyone's right here. What the hey? Hey, Elder, everybody, come out. Hello? But then, out of nowhere, X nuts. Ha! <laughs> they are nuts in the tree. Wah, who are you guys? How'd you get in here? Whoa, dude, is that- isn't he that Mario guy? What? He is? We better get him then. But dude, Lord Crumb told us to tell him immediately if we found Mario, remember? You idiot, use your head. If we capture him, we'll get all the credit, man. Duh. Oh yeah, right on. Let's rock this chump. One, two, three, break! <laughs> Breaks. Like, I don't imagine if they break out of bars, that would be funny. Okay, so what I got here? Um, I could power. I guess it couldn't hurt to power smash this sucker. I forgot to equip quick camera. That would definitely be useful. Oh yeah, because I don't have any bad. I don't have any bad. Dana, why did I get rid of him? He had a sleep sheet. Okay, whatever. Um, I don't have enough badge points yet, so I definitely need to level up for that as well. So next level, the next two level ups will be. Flower points and badge points, yes. Okay, so... Multi-bounce. I guess multi-bounce can't hurt. It'll take him out in no time. The giant X-nut goes down. Like the nut he is, haha. <laughs> well, before he can take me out, the nut he is. <laughs> Could crud that's stunned, man. Dude, maybe reporting back to Lord Crump isn't such a bad idea after all. Wah! <laughs> oh, man. Pretty slick work handling those guys, Mario. Seriously, way to go. But the question remains, where did everybody go? What could possibly make everyone leave? Finally, somebody shows up. What are you doing hiding back there? Come out for Pete's sake. I found us a powerful alley. He, he's huge. I think the orange one said that. Uh, I, I mean, I think the one with the orange top said that. Are you sure your huge mustache of a man won't try to eat us? Huh, hey, who's that? Who else is back there? No, I actually, I think that's the yellow one. Nice stash, so burly. Now, don't worry, everyone. This is Mario, and he's our friend. He's here to help. All those bad guys. Mario, uh, Mario will stomp every one of them, just like those last goons. Yeah, they all have yellow tops. <laughs> Is this it? There are so f uh, few. Well, we have to make do. Let me formally introduce Mario. Wait! That's the orange guy. How do we really know this burly fellow is our alley? He might be one of them. Pun Puniper, what are you saying? He's not one of them. Listen, we can all fight alongside Mario and chase those goons out of here. We can take back our tree. We can take back our homes. Ha! Big bad Punio. Listen to yourself. I'm trying to sound all important like... You have no idea the kind of troubles we've been through while you were gone. What? What are you talking about, Puniper? And why are there so few of you uh, here anyway? What happened to everyone? Well, they've been captured by those goons. The Elder, everybody, including your sister. What? Petunie? Tell me it isn't so. Oh, it's so, alright. She was taken off somewhere with the rest of them. They said it was because we wouldn't tell them where to find some crystal thing. We told them we never heard of it. Oh, poor Petunie. Well, that absolutely tears it. We've all to, we've all got to go look for them right away. What are you saying, Punio? We can't do anything to those giant goons. Besides, they aren't alone. The cursed Jabby tribe is in league with them. 
They're hoping to make this tree their own once we've all been driven from it. This is it. For us, uh, this is it for us. The end. And adding this hairy old man to our ranks will help with it. How can you say that? You can't know that. We have to try, don't you see? Think about it. If we all get together, we can take care of the uh, take care of any stupid jab eyes. So who's with me, huh? Come on, everyone. Let's pool our strength. Ha! Punio, punio, punio. You'll have to convince me because I think you're nuts. What's that supposed to mean? Tell you what, you and Mr. Mustache there can get the revolution started. If you can free our friends who got locked up somewhere in the tree, then I'll join your little crusade. crusade. Ha! Like that'll ever happen, please. Fine, we'll show you. Right, Mario? Right? Come on, follow me to glory. Let's go help them. Alright guys, that's gonna end things off for this episode. Next time on Paper Mario Thousand Your Door, we're gonna, um, get started on the Great Tree. Until then, Arwen Master out.